Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, time now is 1218 on this Thursday afternoon. And Andrew, we are expecting some rainfall, which is some welcome news because we yeah. need it. Absolutely. Southern Vermont still dealing with the drought, the brush fire risk. We're thinking quite a bit of relief in that regard. We're not thinking the brush fire situation is too big of a deal as we move forward. So this rain definitely very beneficial. We have some snow for the mountains too. That's going to be really exciting for people too. Yes, for ski season to get the, the ski slopes prepped, that kind of thing looking good as we move forward the next few days. Of course, Thanksgiving on our radar next week. So maybe a little bit of uh, white scenery as you look up towards the mountains uh, by this weekend into next week as well, setting the scene nicely for the holidays as well. Want to show you the snow accumulation forecast. So uh, as we move forward the rest of today, tonight, tomorrow, it's mostly the mountain summits that see the snow. But when we talk about Friday night into Saturday morning, the snow accumulation happens a little lower down in elevation, not for downtown Burlington or Shelburne, but you head towards Williston, maybe a slushy dusting to an inch or two, and then out towards Jericho, Underhill, towards Richmond, a few inches, more like four to eight for uh, Mount Man field same deal for camels hump and huntington and then checking in on the rutland area when we talk about friday night into saturday morning downtown probably just wet but you head on route four towards menden it's a couple inches and then out towards killington on route four several inches uh, as we look here towards the top of Killington, right at the peak there, maybe 8 to 12 inches or a little, or a, uh, little bit more than that, up around 3,000 feet in elevation. So here's what we have on Storm Tracker. We have low pressure near the Great Lakes. It's transferring its energy to a coastal low pressure system, and that's what's going to be bringing our multiple days of rain and higher elevation snow as we move forward here. So into our region, it's cloudy everywhere with some periods of rain shifting in, especially northern New York right now, seeing some of the wet weather towards Malone, Santa Clara, Piercefield, some light rain there, some snowflakes mixing in towards Marcy, uh, the Champlain Valley, central Vermont, seeing some pockets of light to moderate rain right now, still mostly dry for the Northeast Kingdom, and then southern Vermont, seeing that rain shifting in towards Rutland and Manchester. Mixing in with a few flakes towards Killington, say Stratton Mountain as well. Temperature wise, we're mostly in the low to mid 40s, so not a lot of cold air towards the ground. But we are tracking a upper level low, a cold pocket of air aloft, which mostly misses south and west of us through tomorrow. That's why the snow is mostly just the thing for the summits through Friday. And then over the weekend, the upper level low tracks towards the Canadian Maritimes. We have a northwest wind direction, so that sends in more in the way of cold air. It'll provide some upslope enhancement. That's why we're thinking the bulk of the accumulation in the high terrain happens over the weekend. So here's future casts with the rain and summit level snowfall over the course of the afternoon. Same goes into tonight. And then as we talk about tomorrow, there may be a few lingering rain or snow showers in the morning, but a lot of dry times tomorrow. In fact, by the afternoon could be a fair amount of sunshine. And then Friday night, here we go with the rain and mountain snow filling back in. It may even snow for a time right in the Champlain Valley first thing Saturday. Maybe a few roads a little on the slushy side. Mostly it's valley rain and higher elevation snow showers throughout Saturday. And that'll be the trend right on into Sunday as well. So looking at snow accumulation across the region, we've got a few inches for the high terrain of the Adirondack Park. Mount Marcy could be a foot or so. But then nothing for Plattsburgh towards Westport and Burlington. A few inches for the northern Green Mountain Spine, the high terrain parts of the Northeast Kingdom. And then southern Vermont, the southern Green Mountains get a few inches as well. Here's the extended forecast. We have the rain and snow showers around tomorrow, uh, especially this weekend as well. And then we're drier and brighter by Monday, a few showers possible Tuesday. We're watching a storm with rain and elevation snow, especially, say, Black Friday and Saturday. Adrian?